Hello again, as always, it is me, Inda Melinda Sari from Wonderland Consulting. I have over 10 years experience as a migration agent and was once a migrant myself, which gives me unique insight into the process. Please like this video and click subscribe to get all the best Australian immigration content and updates. Before we start, I would like to give a mention to our sister company, Education One Australia. They handle all aspects of international studies in Australia from finding you the right course and institutions to assisting you in any issues that may come um, may come up such as a confirmation of enrollment or student visa cancellations or refusals and helping you plan your post-study career and visa pathways. You may find the links and contact information for them in the description. Now let's get started with the latest immigration news and visa updates for June 2022. What will migration look like under the new Labour government? New plans for Pacific Islander visa, new Bailola um, family saga has finally concluded Western Australia new regulations. Last month, Australia held their federal election, which resulted in the Labour Party taking control of the parliament and Anthony Albanese becoming the new Prime Minister. So what does this new government mean when it comes to how immigration policies will look moving forward? Generally, the view is that the new government will be on a whole more encouraging and have a friendlier stance of, on immigration than the previous government. So, what changes could we see? A consistent proposal of the Labour Party has been to find ways to streamline the process for permanent residents through successful working visa programs, especially those addressing regional areas in need and those sectors in which there are skill shortages. Also, that positional workers and other temporary low-skilled workers should have better protections when it comes to fair pay and safe working conditions and environment to curb exploitation. There could be a softening of stances towards asylum seekers and refugees seeking protection. Newly appointed Immigration Minister Andrew Giles have previously represented asylum seekers in a famous case surrounding asylum seekers aboard Norwegian vessels, the Tampa, which is what led to many of the policies surrounding asylum seekers and border protection today. There will be a push by the new government to address the massive backlog of visa applications that came about when the international borders reopened in February. The skilled work visa have seen major delays in their processing times, yet their Australia is in need of a lot of the skills these workers possess. So it will be in everybody's benefit to resolve these issues as soon as possible. Those within in the new government, including new Prime Minister Albanese, that this will be a priority for the Home Affairs Department. In line with the new government's policy to offer more opportunity for Pacific Island sessional workers to get on PR pathways to fill labor shortages, they are developing the Pacific Engagement Visa. This visa will offer around 3,000 Pacific Islanders the chance to become permanent residents and now offer pathways for sessional workers to bring their families to Australia. This pathway will allow them to stay up to four years. This goes a long way to ease the uncertainty faced by many Pacific Islanders on seasonal or short-term work visas that come consistently to work and fill labor shortages, particularly in regional areas and in the agriculture, cultural industry. It also offers employers the certainty of a more consistent workforce. We will continue to provide more information about this new visa as the government releases updates. Perhaps an early indicator of the new government's policy towards asylum seekers, the Murugapan family has been granted breeding visas 
and are allowed to return to Bella, uh, Bella Ella after the four-year case comes to a close. The saga has been the most prominent asylum seeker case, gaining nationwide attention and coverage. The family who have come to be known as the Bala family have been in detention center since 2019 and several attempts to remove them had been unsuccessful. The parents, Nades and Priya, had both arrived separately from Sri Lanka by boat. Being ethnic Tamil, they were escaping the civil war and effects on the Tamil people. They met and married in Australia and settled in the consulate town of Baola. Their refugee and protection claims were refused and in 2018, the border force detained them. From this point, the saga and hardship started for the family, constantly living in detention and being monitored 24-7. This even included a fight that was turned around mid-flight with, mid with the family on board after a last-minute appeal. And the cost of the detention has totaled 6 million Australian dollars of taxpayer money. Now back in Barola, among the neighbors and supporters, the family is now waiting a permanent visa so they can finally resume their life in some normality. Our last update of the day comes out of Western Australia. The state is trying to position itself as a hub for international students by offering incentives to attract students and skilled workers with more chances for permanent residency. Commencing with the 2022-23 financial year, Western Australia will start accepting overseas applicants for their skilled migration program. There will still be priority given to applicants living within in the state and in the country before offshore applicants. The visa subclasses that are open for the applicants to apply for state nomination include the subclass 190 visa and the 491. Along with the program being open to offshore applicants, once again, an official release by the state said an additional 194 occupations have been added to the graduate occupation list, taking the total number of listed occupations to 331 to attract more international students to study in the state. This will make the occupation list for the graduate visa the most extensive in the country. This will make Western Australia a very attractive option for those international students whose goal is to gain permanent residency and pursue their careers in Australia. Well, that's the run-up of all the changes and updates for this month. If you have any questions about how these changes may affect you or benefit you, please don't hesitate to reach out to us or leave a comment or questions and we will get back to you as soon as possible. You can find our contact details in the description and in the comments. So feel free to send an email or call with an inquiry and our advisors will be there for all your visa needs. Wonderland Consulting is here to help you. As always, thank you for watching.